Now I'd like to share with you how we go about cooking our meals, making water, melting water every day. And so here's how it works. First, what we have is we need to collect a bunch of snow ice that we're gonna melt. So we have a garbage bag and we fill that up with, with ice and snow, bring it into the tent area, and that's gonna be used to melt. Now, what we're gonna be using to melt is our, snow, is our stove, and of course that needs to be powered by fuel. So we will be using Coleman fuel that will be supplied to us when we arrive, and this is, um, we'll have six gallons of fuel for our total expedition. So that's what we'll fuel. We pour that into the fuel bottle, which is connected to our stove plate here, and that's where the fuel resides. It's connected with our stove, which is a, um, I'll show you in a minute, it's, a, it's an MSR Whisper Light International. And then we put the ice in here, we uh, let it boil, boil it down, keep doing that process. So that what we use to, to do that is we have the, uh, a pan, and this is what will be on top of the stove. Inside the, this area, this is a windscreen to keep the heat in and wind out. Under that is our Whisper Light um, stove. If you can see that, this is what it looks like. That all sets on top of this board, which we've custom made to hold the, it's a really lightweight, and that way uh, it does not melt through the snow or your tent floor. So that is what that looks like. We'll put that back together and that's what uh, we'll be cooking on. We will be carrying with us a extra stove uh, and an extra uh, fuel pump. So in case this one was to break, we always have a backup because obviously we need our stove to make water. This is a two hour process of melting snow every morning and every evening in order to get enough water to rehydrate our meals as well as to rehydrate our bodies and to drink. So we will be getting enough water. Each of us will be carrying two of these Nalgene bottles and one thermos. So we will be filling these every day and when we depart for the day and then when we return, we fill them again at night to rehydrate and drink in the evening and then in the morning have to redo the pro whole process again. For eating, we have this cup. We'll be eating our meals right out of here. We have one spoon each, one, one um, of these cups each, and it's just kind of cool because it opens into two, so if we needed a measuring cup or we needed two for some reason, we each have one of these. But that is what our cooking system looks like, and this is how it works in Antarctica. We have, this is actually a holder to keep your, when your water bottles are full, you put them in here to travel, keeps the water from freezing too quickly. So that is what our cooking system looks like. This is how it all works in Antarctica. We do bring this into the tent when it's really cold, so we'll be cooking right in the tent. And sometimes we can cook in the vestibule as well, which is the, out, uh, the part that's connected to the tent, um, but also is not right inside the tent. So there you have it.